Okie dokie. The demons descended upon the region like a plague. Their arrival marked by sudden storms and unnatural darkness that blotted out the sun. The Oni were fearsome creatures towering over humans with their grotesque forms and terrifying strength. They came from Ogre Island, a distant and foreboding place shrouded in mystery and dread. The demons raided the village periodically, stealing crops, livestock, and valuables. But their worst crimes were against the people themselves. They kidnapped villagers, especially children, taking them back to Ogre Island for purposes too horrifying to imagine. The villagers lived in constant fear, never knowing when the next attack would come. They tried to protect themselves with barriers and sentries, but nothing seemed to deter the Oni. The elders spoke of the demons in hushed tones, sharing stories of their cruelty and strength around the fires at night. The fear and despair were palpable, as the Oni's tyranny cast a long, dark shadow over the village. There was an elderly couple who lived a simple and peaceful life in the countryside. Despite their contentment, they were deeply saddened by their inability to have children. And one day, as the old woman went about her daily routine of washing clothes by the river, she noticed something unusual. Floating gently down the stream was an enormous, perfectly round peach, far larger than anything she had ever seen. Amazed by its size, she called out to her husband, who was working in the fields nearby, to come and help her get it. With great effort, the couple managed to pull the giant peach out of the water and bring it back to their home. They marveled at their unexpected fortune and decided to cut the peach open to share its delicious fruit. As they prepared to slice into it, something extraordinary happened. The peach split open on its own, revealing a baby boy nestled inside, healthy and laughing. The couple was astonished and overjoyed by this miraculous event. They saw the baby as a gift from the gods, a blessing that fulfilled their long-held wish for a child. They named the boy Momotaro. Momo, the Japanese word for peach, and taro, the Japanese term for boy. From that day forward, the elderly couple raised Momotaro with love and care. The boy grew up to be kind-hearted, strong, and exceptionally brave. Despite his humble beginnings, the boy was destined for greatness. By the time Momotaro was old enough to understand the plight of his village, the demon attacks had intensified. The people were desperate, their spirits broken by the relentless terror. Determined to put an end to the suffering, Momotaro decided to take action. He prepared for his journey to Ogre Island, resolved to confront the demons and free his village from their tyranny once and for all. And before setting off on his journey, his wise parents prepared a special travel ration called a kibidango, which was a type of millet dumpling. Momotaro soon encountered three loyal companions who would prove invaluable to his mission. The first to join Momotaro was a dog. Attracted by the irresistible scent of the kibidango wafting through the air, the dog was not just an ordinary canine. He was a large, sturdy animal with a keen nose and sharp eyes that spoke of intelligence and loyalty. As Momotaro traveled through the dense forest, he noticed the dog following him at a respectful distance, eyes fixed on the pouch at Momotaro's side where the dumplings were stored. Curious and cautious, the dog approached closer, his nose twitching with interest. Recognizing the dog's potential strength and unwavering loyalty, Momotaro saw an opportunity to gain a valuable ally. He paused on his journey, knelt down, and extended a hand, and extended a hand with one of the kibidangas. The dog, eyes lighting up with gratitude, eagerly accepted the dumpling. As he devoured it, Momotaro could see the transformation. The dog's eyes sparkled with newfound energy and determination. Fueled by the magical power of the kibidango, the bond between them was instant and unbreakable. And from that moment on, the dog became Momotaro's steadfast companion, trotting faithfully by his side. The dog's keen senses were invaluable as they navigated through the challenging terrain. He could detect dangers long before they were visible, his sharp bark serving as both a warning and a deterrent to potential threats. The dog's strength was evident in every stride, his muscles rippling beneath his fur as he moved with confidence and purpose. Grateful for the food and the opportunity to be part of such a noble quest, the dog pledged his unwavering loyalty to Momotaro. Together, they continued their journey, their first step in assembling a team that would become legendary. The dog's presence was a comfort and an inspiration to Momotaro, who knew that with such a loyal and powerful companion, they stood a better chance against the formidable Oni that awaited them on Ogre Island. As Momotaro and his loyal dog companion continued their journey, they ventured into a dense leaf grove. The sunlight filtered through the canopy, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. It was here that they encountered the second of their future allies, a monkey. Agile and quick-witted, the monkey was leaping effortlessly from branch to branch, 
his keen eyes ever watchful for opportunities. The monkey, drawn to the delicious scent of the kiwi dango that Momotaro carried, paused in his acrobatics. He watched the boy and the dog with curiosity, his bright eyes reflecting both intelligence and mischief. Intrigued by the newcomers, the monkey decided to make his presence known. With a few nimble swings and a graceful somersault, he landed lightly in front of them, his expression one of cautious interest. Momotaro, recognizing the potential in the monkey's agility and quick mind, saw another opportunity to strengthen his team. He reached into his pouch and pulled out another kiwi dango, holding it out to the monkey. He asked if the monkey would like to join on his great adventure, telling the monkey that they were on a mission to defeat the Oni that have been terrorizing our village, and that the monkey's agility and intelligence would be a great asset. The monkey's eyes sparkled with interest at the mention of the Kibi Dango and the adventure it had. He had always been curious and loved challenges. Accepting the dumpling with a grateful nod, the monkey tasted it and felt an immediate surge of energy and purpose. He knew this journey would be unlike any other he had taken before, and the prospect of such a grand adventure was too tempting to resist. With the dumpling in hand, the monkey formally agreed to join Momotaro's mission. His nimbleness and intelligence quickly proved invaluable. As they continued their journey, the monkey scouted ahead, climbing trees to get a better view of the terrain and potential obstacles. His quick thinking and ability to navigate difficult paths allowed the group to avoid many hazards that would have slowed them down. The monkey's presence added a new dynamic to the team. His playful nature and sharp mind kept their spirits high, and his agility allowed him to gather information and resources that were out of reach for Momotaro and the dog. Together, they moved through the forest with renewed confidence, each step bringing them closer to their ultimate goal of confronting the Oni on Ogre Island. With the monkey's nimbleness and intelligence, they were now better prepared for the challenges that lay ahead. Lastly, as Momotaro and his companions pressed on, the landscape began to open up into rolling hills and meadows. This gave them a clear view of the sky. It was here, in this expansive terrain, that they encountered their final ally. A pheasant, with its vibrant plumage and sharp eyes, circled above them, drawn by the enticing scent of the kiwi dango wafting through the air. The pheasant, intrigued by the unusual trio below, swooped down gracefully and landed a short distance away. Its keen eyes observed Momotaro, the dog, and the monkey with a mix of curiosity and caution. The bird's magnificent feathers shimmered in the sunlight, a testament to its agility and strength. Momotaro, seeing the potential in the pheasant's keen eyesight and ability to soar above, approached it with a friendly smile. He extended his hand, offering one of his precious kiwi dangos. He told the pheasant that they were on a mission to defeat the oni who have been causing havoc in our village. He told the pheasant that with your keen eyesight and ability to fly, you would be a great asset to our team and asked if the pheasant would like to join. The pheasant was enticed by the kiwi dango and intrigued by the adventure, so it accepted the dumpling with a nod of its elegant head. As it tasted the treat, it also felt a surge of energy and determination, just like the dog and monkey before it. Recognizing the importance of their quest, the pheasant agreed to join Momotaro's growing team. So with the pheasant now part of the group, they had a unique advantage. The bird's eyesight allowed it to spot dangers from afar, and its ability to fly provided a critical perspective on their surroundings. The pheasant could scout the terrain ahead, ensuring they avoided traps and ambushes set by the Oni. It could also find the quickest pass through the rugged landscape, making their journey to Ogre Island more efficient. As they traveled together, the pheasant's aerial reconnaissance proved invaluable. It flew high above, guiding the team through dense forests, over treacherous rivers, and across steep mountains. The bird's sharp calls warned of the approaching threats, and its swift wings allowed it to relay messages quickly between the ground-bound companions. With the addition of the pheasant, Momotaro's team was now complete. As they approached their destination, they felt confident in their ability to face the Oni and restore peace to their village. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows over the treacherous terrain of Ogre Island, Momotaro and his loyal companions stood at the threshold of the Oni's fortress. The imposing structure, built from dark stones and adorned with eerie glowing symbols, loomed ominously before them. The air was thick with tension, and the distant roars of the demons echoed through the forest, which created an atmosphere of dread. Determined and resolute, Momotaro led his companions toward the fortress gates. The dog scouted ahead, ensuring their path was clear of traps and sentries. The monkey climbed the fortress walls to survey the area and identify potential points of entry. The pheasant, soaring high above, kept watch for any approaching enemies. As they approached the entrance, the dog growled a warning. Oni guards, massive and menacing, stood watch, their red eyes glowing with malevolence. Without hesitation, Momotaro signaled his companions and they sprang into action. The dog lunged at the nearest Oni, sinking his teeth into the demon's leg, while the monkey leapt onto another guard's back, distracting him with swift, nimble movements. 
The pheasant swooped down, pecking at the eyes of the third guard, blinding him and causing chaos among the ranks. Momotaro, wielding his wooden sword with skill and precision, fought his way through the guards. His strikes were swift and powerful, each blow incapacitating an enemy. The Kibidango's magical strength coursed through his veins, making him nearly unstoppable. With their combined efforts, the team managed to breach the fortress gates, leaving a trail of defeated Oni in their wake. The fortress was a dark labyrinth, filled with the echoes of distant growls and the clanging of chains. The air was thick with the stench of sulfur and decay. As they made their way deeper into the stronghold, they encountered more Oni, each more fearsome than the last. The dog, the monkey, and the pheasant fought valiantly by Momotaro's side, their teamwork and camaraderie shining through in every skirmish. And finally, they reached the heart of the fortress, where the Oni leader, a colossal demon with fiery eyes and a crown of horns, awaited them. His presence was overwhelming, his roar shaking the very foundations of the fortress. The battle that ensued was intense and grueling. The Oni leader wielded a massive club, swinging it with terrifying force, but Momotaro and his companions were undeterred. Using their combined strength and clever tactics, they launched a coordinated assault on the demon leader. The dog attacked from the ground, biting and clawing at the demon's legs. The monkey with his agility climbed onto the demon's back, striking at vulnerable spots. The pheasant, diving from above, distracted the demon with sharp pecks and swift movements. Momotaro, seizing an opportunity, leapt forward with a powerful strike aimed at the demon leader's chest. The blow, infused with the strength of the Kibidango and the determination of a hero, landed true. The Oni leader staggered, his fiery eyes dimming as he fell to his knees. And with the final decisive strike, Momotaro brought the demon leader down, ending his reign of terror. The remaining Oni, witnessing the fall of their leader, fled in fear. Their morale shattered. Momotaro and his companions stood victorious, their bravery and unity having triumphed over the forces of darkness. The fortress, once a symbol of fear, now lay in ruins, a testament to their courage. With the battle won, Momotaro and his companions gathered the treasures the Oni had stolen from the villagers, and then they made their way back home, hailed as heroes. The village, once plagued by fear and despair, now celebrated their return with joy and gratitude. Momotaro's legendary adventure became a story passed down through generations, a tale of bravery, friendship, and the triumph of good over evil. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks for listening. If you like it, hit that subscribe button for us. If you don't like it, that's okay too. Other than that, have a great day.